<clears throat> okay, so let me start out by saying that the point of this lesson is to show you how to take any image, literally any, any image that you want. We're using this image as our example, but you take any image and you can break it down into smaller, much easier to digest uh, pieces, and then uh, you can draw it. All right, so we started last week by taking this um, piece of paper and divided it into four sections, taking the the photo or the, the, the printed image and we divided it into four sections. And then I've gone one step further and divided this section over here into four sections by folding the top down to the middle and then the left over to the middle making some nice good crease marks and now I've divided this section into four. I'm going to do that same thing over here by taking my image, dividing it in half, folding it in half, set up against the edge up there, put some marks, fold my paper in half this way, make some marks, and then I can use my ruler to draw some dividing lines. Now I have this section in four and this section in four and I can I can draw from there. So this is all I'm going to draw today. This this much. Now the camera and the lighting is it may get in the in the way of this. So we're going to try our best to do what we can do. Okay. So let's start with the the water line. It's just under half, and we know it starts from her and goes off the side of the paper, and then there's a rock over here. I'm only going to draw, worry about the, I can draw that a little too big. Draw a couple of details on my rock here. If you see more, you're welcome to draw more. But I'm, all, I'm just going to focus on just those few marks. All right, so next I'm going to add her, her body. Her legs. And we need to draw what we see in this section. Wearing a swimsuit, swimsuit of the 19. I think this is um, 1920s. Or so. so she's wearing a striped outfit. Shoulder, arm goes way over here. A little bit of a curve to that line. Fingers almost look like hooks or claws. I only see a couple of them because the rest of them are in her hair. She 
a very exaggeratedly long, thick neck. Mouth is open. Chin is almost directly above her neck. Eye. And her eye looks like almost like a less than sign. If we to look at it this way. Her ear. And her hair is just about that. She has very thick hair and lots of it. Let's get that and finish off the arm. I said lots of hair. Almost touches that water line, but doesn't. that is hair, which we'll fill in later. Okay, so unless I'm mistaken, I really don't see anything else. I think I'm going to fix this hand a little bit. Goes out, drops down, finger, I forgot her eyebrow, that's what it was. Okay, so um, this is what I need to see. Please post me a picture in the Google Classroom. In the Google Classroom, if you please. Do not send me an email, but post it in the Google Classroom. Thank you very much.